can you imagine the driving force between all four of these tires? And that's just one side. Don't forget, there's four more on the other side. And <laughs> if I was a man and there was someone putting a horny thing like that right up near me in that area, I would be a little nervous about that. I'd be a lot nervous about that. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's trying to, it's a trust game. Right here, Carl. Right here. Right here. Right here. Now, as you can see from this angle, the Argo has a real nice big back end. You can just load this thing up with all kinds of stuff. Just putting bags of feed and bucket after bucket after bale after flake after flake after flake of hay. Woo! Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Hey folks, Lester here. And uh, I'm trying to find the perfect angle for this little morning video. And you'll see why I mean the perfect angle as soon as I get everything set up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. I got a message from, it was a message from the Argo dealer, the corporate office to give them a call. So I gave the guy a call and he was, a, it was a video chat and he's like, Hey, he wasn't mean about it. So I'm not trying to throw, cast any shade on the guy, but he was just saying matter of factly that we had a contractual deal to include the Argo in X number of videos per month. And they did not notice that many videos in the month of January. And I says, I, I, I don't think you've watched all my videos. So I had to remind him that I have videos on both Facebook and YouTube, different videos, which all count because it wasn't, it wasn't designed to go to one particular platform. It was just to, bottom line is, he says, Lester, we want you to take it from here to here. Raise it up a level, raise it up a notch. And so now I says, you know what? I'm going to raise it up a notch. I'm going to raise it up a notch. Now I know what y'all are saying. Y'all are saying, Lester, I don't want to watch an Argo video. I'm not going to show you an Argo video. I know better than that. I know better than that. I'm going to show you an animal video because you're here for the animals, right? But animals have to be fed the same way pastures have to be dragged. Is it dragged or drugged? Do pastures get dragged or drugged, baby? I got to drag pastures. I have to feed animals. And so a lot of these, baby, why are you being timid around me? What's wrong? You look such a pretty party dress you're wearing today. Hi, Susan. And then uh, I says, I'll just feed the animals like I, like I do every day. And I'll just have to include more of the sh shots from the Argo, which is fine. Uh, what's going on over here? Hey, buddy. Why do you look so sad? Why do you look so sad, Mr. Tex? How are you, buddy? And Gracie, what are you doing? Why are you messing with daddy's tail? That, you just being mean to daddy? You just being mean, look at her. She's just like him. You know how he takes his horn and he always likes to put his horn and gets, him, he gets himself tangled up in stuff all the time. And that's what she's doing. So anyway, let's go ahead and walk inside there. I'm not going to feed quite yet. I do have all my feed poured, but I want to walk inside. And <laughs> if I was a man and there was someone putting a horny thing like that right up near me in that area, I would be a little nervous about that. I'd be a lot nervous about that. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's trying to, it's a trust game. You've all played that trust game. Uh, maybe this is their version of the trust game. I, I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. All right. Uh, let's go do a little bag report real fast. You know, according to our calculations, if Gracie did, in fact, uh, have a successful... I'm going to clean this pasture. Do not judge me right now. I am going to drag this pasture in a couple of minutes. That's where the roll of hay has been, and that's where they've been laying, and that's what happens when they lay around. Um... 
according to my calculations, I do have calculations, Mr. Tat. I have calculations. Uh, we should be having some development here around mid-March. And so we're really excited about the possibility of seeing what's going to happen with this little girl over here. Now, Mama, not exactly sure, but we have... Guys, I don't know anymore. I've just given up on all my calculations, this and calculations, that. But I will say I don't even see anything under there. We've talked about Itty. I Bitty. T Titty. C Committee. IBTC. And so you can barely see anything at all, but I certainly don't see any, any much of a bag. And so with some of your younger cows, you don't always see a bag developing. But I certainly thought I would see more than that at this point. Christy, Chrissy. See, Chrissy, you're going to get Tex all riled up, and he's going to end up breaking my fence. Welcome to the Aurora Argo, the Huntmaster, 950, 8x8. Eight Taking a time out from the Argo to wonder why this cat has crawled up inside of my kayak. Oh, I know what it is. She wants to take a peek at the Argo 950 8x8 with the winch that can get you out of any situation. Oh boy, we're going in. My friends, we're going in. Even for a man with horrible knees like mine, I want to show you something. You ready to watch this? You ready to watch this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready for this? Bad knee up, over and in, high step it, squat down. Do it again, make it a game. For God, for God, for God. It's the Argo, 950, eight by eight. Crank it up, crank it up, crank it up, crank it up, and move. You can tell that even the exotic ostriches love the Argo 950 8x8. Thumbnail. That's 15 foot of water. Who wants to help promote the Argos? Who wants to help sell a couple of Argos? Anybody here? No? No one cares about the Argo. You only care about what's in the back end of it. Christy, have I not shown you enough love lately? She wants me to make her a video showing so much love. If she goes, you can show the Argo love. You can show me some love. All right, well, all right, we're still feeding here. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this, that humans are a whole lot like goats in the fact that at the end of the day, we only want to be able to eat. And so in an economy where everything is skyrocketing, the price of, there's nothing 
that's not just skyrocketing in price. You can't expect people to go off and spend money on any type of machinery, work-related, be it a farm tool or recreational or anything else, when in fact they're struggling trying to pay for the groceries and feed their family. And so if you're looking for a scapegoat and you want to blame Lester's channel for not doing its job, well, like I said at the end of our message, you can come and bring that same trailer and pick up the Argo because I've always known it's only mine as long as you guys say it is. But I'm not going to change what my channel does. I will not become the kind of channel who spends the entire channel talking about a product. I'm not. I will feature it in videos, but it will never be the, the, the theme of my video. And so today was more of a joke than anything else. I'm blessed for the Argo, but I can promise you if I don't have the Argo, then I'll have a side-by-side -side or something. Carl, I'm going to come feed you, okay? And uh, I will ask, Carl, I want to ask one question. What are your thoughts on the whole Argo, folks? Reaching out. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.